Hello everyone and welcome to Sonia's Homestyle. Christmas season has officially begun and today I am so excited to show you how I decorated my Christmas tree. This year's theme is Winter Wonderland and I will be showing you all the items I use to create this beautiful tree. I like to lay out most of my ornaments in a group. I might not use all of them, but this gives me an idea on what will look good on the tree once I get started. I will be using all white, silver, and pop of blue ornaments. These items go together very well for creating a winter wonderland tree. I will be picking and choosing ornaments, ribbons, and picks once I start decorating. First thing I like to do to get in the decorating mood is put on some holiday music, have some hot cocoa or coffee to get my creative juices flowing. I like to add a few of these scented pine sticks to make my tree and house smell like Christmas. Here are some white, silver, and blue ribbon options. They were all 25 feet and on sale from Michaels. These glittery white poinsettias and white garlands are also from Michaels and I will be using all of them. I like using large ornaments and these five containers of glittery and snow covered ornaments are from at home store. Light blue ornaments were from Target and these white and silver large ornaments were from Michaels. Make sure you use Michaels coupons when buying all of their items. This white deer head is from Walmart and this white pick is from Michaels and these white ornaments are from Hobby Lobby. I shop for my items everywhere. Dollar Tree, Walmart, Michaels, Target, Hobby Lobby, and at home store. To create a beautiful tree, I like to work in layers. So I added four of these white garlands. You just tuck them in and just put them in a random pattern. Next I added this roll of blue ribbon in a random pattern. You can just use the whole ribbon or you can cut them in pieces. Next I added this white snowflake ribbon. Adding ribbon creates texture and depth to any tree. So I just went around randomly and tucked this big ribbon in. When in doubt, just step back and look at your tree. You don't want it to look too symmetrical. You just want it to look random. So when you add your ornaments, the tree looks very full and designer-like. Next, I added the silver mesh ribbon. I just cut few pieces, different sizes, and made this little loop and just spread them apart and went around the tree where I saw some empty spots and just tucked them in. There's really no pattern to follow here. I just go around and look for little empty spots and put these little loops in there. Using the same ribbon, I cut few strips, just random size, and just loosely tuck them in the tree where I thought it would look good. You can't have winter wonderland tree without some furry ribbon. I'm adding this white ribbon, I'm sort of just twisting it and tucking it on the inner part of the tree to give it a little bit more depth. 
I ended up using four different types of ribbons to give my tree more texture. A quick tip is to start your tree from the top. As you're adding your tree topper and picks, your tree will shake and you don't want your ornaments and other things to get loose and fall off. Here is my completed tree topper. This part was a little tricky to film because things were moving and shaking. Get creative and just start adding things. I started with this deer head, these blue crystal picks and the white picks. I also added a little bit of bling with these crystal gems. And various size of icicles throughout the tree to give the tree a little bit more of that wintry feel. Now begins the fun part, adding the ornaments. I'm going to start off with these large ornaments and look for holes like this one and simply take the ornament and just tuck it in. You want to create a look where it looks like the ornaments are just resting and not hanging. We're going to take rest of these ornaments and go around the tree in a zigzag pattern. As you can see, the tree is coming together very well. Hanging the ornaments in a zigzag pattern and tucking them into the tree creates depth. You want the ornaments to look like they're coming out of the tree instead of just hanging. Now we're going to hang up rest of our decorative ornaments, still following the zigzag pattern. I like my ornaments to be repeated at least three times on the tree to give it more of a cohesive and a designer look. Here is a close-up look of a few of my favorite ornaments. A quick tip when decorating the tree is to follow odd numbers of ornaments. This makes the tree look very designer-like and you can see a lot of these ornaments that I use were repeated few times throughout the tree. the tree a 3D look I've added a few antlers and to make it look even more full I added some snowflakes just on the outer branches Here is a completed look of my beautiful winter wonderland Christmas tree. I think it turned out to be stunning. This is probably the best tree I have ever done and I love it. This video might not do justice on how magical and beautiful this tree looks in person. Every time I look at this tree, it takes my breath away. To complete the look, I've added a few more decorative deers, matching boxes, some ornaments, lanterns. Just get creative and you can put various items at the bottom of your tree to give it that full designer look. Here is an overview of my beautiful winter wonderland Christmas tree with the lights on and with the lights off. I really hope you enjoyed this video and also hoping that I have inspired you to create a beautiful one-of-a-kind Christmas tree. If you would like to see where I have purchased all of these Christmas items, make sure you check out the Christmas haul videos at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and please give this video a thumbs up and also leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe.